is up guys? So it is another beautiful day here in sunny Southern California and we have a jam-packed vlog today and I am super excited for it. We're gonna do a lot of things, we're gonna see a lot of things, and we're gonna be productive which is like the best part. Whenever I can sort of mix work with pleasure, I know it's gonna be a good day because I have so much fun with it. So to give you guys like a brief summary of what's gonna be happening for today, we're gonna head over to my girlfriend's parents house. They live about 45 minutes away. They have a pool, palm trees, a backyard, grass, a jacuzzi. Uh, they have a grill too so we can actually cook which is awesome. Uh, so we're gonna head over there actually to do some promo pictures for Stay Stoked. I have a bunch of like pool floats that we're gonna blow up and use those as props. After we're done doing that, then we're gonna go swimming in the pool which I'm excited about because we get to use the pool floats and have fun and do like underwater GoPro shots. Grill on the grill, we're gonna make Hawaiian pineapple sliders, which is gonna be awesome. And then finally, as long as the sun lets us, we're gonna do a little concrete surf session with the Rip Surf. So that's today's agenda. Let's uh, head out. freaking beautiful day out and I think the first thing I should probably get done is the stay stoked photo shoot so in order to do that I'm gonna start off by blowing up some pool floats and I'm excited for this because I'm like excited to see what they look like but I also already feel exhausted from blowing these up so hopefully I don't pass out but let's do this It's so cute! Oh my goodness! I don't know why I thought this was gonna be much bigger, but this is pretty freaking cute! Alright, next up we have the giant ice pop pool float. Let's do this! I almost passed out on that one, but like giant popsicle, oh my goodness. If this isn't heaven, then I don't know what is. So these are actually inflatable beverage boats. There's three of them in here, a pineapple, a lime, and a watermelon. I probably don't need them today, but I want them today, so this is happening. Oh, These are so freaking cute. I'm in lime. I'm in love, I'm in lime. Yeah, it was done. Okay, so the plan for these pictures, I honestly don't know. I don't really have a plan, but I'm sort of just gonna go with the flow. It's like I wanna do in the pool shots, but it's gonna be weird because the people are gonna be wearing shirts in the pool, so I don't know if that makes sense. Maybe I'll just do like some posing like this. Uh, I'm gonna figure it out, but I'm gonna do a little montage of me taking pictures so you guys can sort of see how I work. Oh my gosh, Tiki. And yeah, that's basically gonna be the plan. We're gonna incorporate these pool floats into these pictures, and it's gonna sort of be like a pool party sort of, uh, sort of picture theme, I guess, going on. And then of course, later on, we are swimming with these floats and doing some cool GoPro shots. Are you guys ready? I don't think you are. Okay, so the photo shoot is done. It was small. It wasn't everything that I imagined it would be, but it was hard because it's a little bit windy out and the pool floats kept moving. 
and it was just frustrating. Having one person do this, it's, it's hard. So I'm pretty freaking hungry, and I think it's time for some lunch. Cause life is so short. Okay, so for lunch, like I mentioned, we are having Hawaiian barbecue chicken sliders, which I'm pretty stoked about. I'm gonna show you guys the ingredients that we got. These are super simple, and they're honestly best on a grill. So if you're gonna make these, make them on the grill, because they are freaking delicious. And spend the extra money on the good barbecue sauce. Life hack. So we have some King Hawaiian rolls. These are so freaking good. They're sweet, they're fresh, they're fluffy, they're delicious. Then we have a coleslaw kit right here because these are going to be on our burger. Uh, so it's the dressing, the cabbage, the carrots, and then the red cabbage as well. Of course we have our chicken breast thinly sliced that will be going on the grill. Some mozzarella cheese, which will be delicious. And then finally, some Jack Daniels honey barbecue sauce. We spent the extra buck to get the good kind and that's basically all you need. We are gonna cook it on that grill over there and it is going to be delicious. All right, grilling up some chicken sliders. I am excited for these. I literally forgot to show you guys the most important part of the Hawaiian chicken barbecue sliders, and that is the pineapple. How the heck did I forget to show you guys this? It was in the fridge, I just didn't take it out. But man, you gotta have pineapple on your Hawaiian sliders. That makes it like that much better because pineapple, it's awesome. So the only thing better than pineapple is grilled pineapple on the grill. So that's what we're gonna do. I've actually never done this, so I don't know why I'm acting like I'm a pro. But I'm gonna grill some pineapple on the grill for these sliders. And I'm pretty freaking excited about it. I feel like I've just been pretty freaking excited about a lot of things in this video today. Oh, wait. Oh, damn. <laughs> this just got so much better. Baby, I'm such marriage material with this right here. Mm -hmm. What should I do for? These are gonna be so bomb. Follow your heart. Oh my gosh, it only comes with four? You know the best part about pineapple, though? Oh. The juice. But these look so freaking good. Let's be real for a second. I've outdone myself once again. So we take a piece of chicken, mm -hmm. and you put your chicken on your bun. And then we're going to take a piece of pineapple, and we put our pineapple on our chicken. Then we take our barbecue sauce, give this a good little shaking, and then we're gonna put our barbecue sauce on our pineapple. There we go. Last but not least, which is probably one of the secrets of these, is the coleslaw. We're gonna put just a scoop of coleslaw on top of our pineapple buns. This is good stuff here. Moment of truth, guys. Here we go. Is my cooking Gordon Ramsay approved? I'm basically a professional. Mm -hmm. So before we go swimming, we are gonna do a little bit of a rip surf session. I even have the cool GoPro mount this time. So we're gonna hopefully get some low down angles. We're not that great at this, but it's just for fun. Uh, and we're learning still. Oh my gosh, I don't like that. But that's what we're gonna do. For those of you guys who haven't seen it in a long time, it's basically a surfboard that is a rip stick. And it's pretty freaking awesome if I do say so myself. Okay, so that's a big improvement from last time. That was actually pretty good. We just wanted to work up a little bit of a sweat and now we're gonna go swimming. Okay, I have been waiting to jump in here all day. This is finally happening. Thank you. And the sun is shining right down on it. So this is gonna be awesome. When I get older, I wanna be happy with my friends. Just be happy with my friends, cause life is so short. When I get older, I wanna be happy with my friends. Reflecting on the past year, I think you're pretty 
cute But I don't even know how I'm supposed to tell you that I'm scared of getting close, I'm the type to get attached Never wanna fall short, sorry I'm an author But don't you see, the beauty in your eyes make me smile so I cheese Okay, taking a quick little break and I'm gonna make us some Hawaiian shaved ice. So my girlfriend got me this Hawaiian shaved ice machine for my birthday last year when I turned 25. So in October we went to Hawaii and we had like authentic Hawaiian shaved ice with like ice cream and condensed milk on the top and it was freaking delicious. But this like machine comes pretty close to that. The way that it shaves it, it makes it more of a shaved ice sort of snow sort of uh, formation I guess you could say versus like an icy where it's just chunks of ice. This is delicious. I highly, highly recommend this machine. I think she got it off Amazon. It's literally called the Hawaiian Shaved Ice Machine. So we're gonna make some now before the sun sets and we're gonna eat it outside on this beautiful California day. So we have some syrups right here. We have our ice, which comes with a mold. We have our cups, our little straw slash spoon, and then the machine itself. So basically what we do is we take this top part off and we take this ice and we put it inside and I'll show you what happens. So this goes inside like so. And then we're going to take a cup and we're gonna put it right here on the bottom and we're gonna put this top on. Why, thank you, beautiful. This looks good. Mm -hmm. Anyways guys, it is the end of the vlog, but it's also time for the giveaway. I am giving away these rubber ducks and all you have to do to win them is leave me a comment down below, like the video, and be subscribed to my channel. Basically, if you collect five of these rubber ducks, I will send you a free product from my clothing lines website, Stay Stoked. And you can pick out any product on there, I will send you it for free as long as you have five of these in your name. I use a random comment generator and so basically that means that I pick comments at random using this like assistance from this website. So if you won last week, you can totally win this week. Just make sure that you're subscribed and you like the video as well. And uh, whenever you get five, you can cash them in and get a product from my website. So make sure to leave me a comment down below and like the video. Anyways guys, thank you for watching and I will talk to you in a couple days with a new one. Stay stoked. I keep it wavy, watch a flock of flamey On a different planet, we in orbit getting spacey Carly Jepsen on the line, I told her call me maybe Ballin' so hard, yeah they start thinking I'm Kobe But I'm based out in Atlanta where the peaches are Mom raised her a superstar, scorching like I'm serious And never need a teacher bruh Lot of people Kanye West and dropping out to live a dream But I will make it as a rapper and I'll get my damn degree